When we run Terraform in it, it's now created this folder here, dot Terraform. The dot format is normally to hide a folder. In the plugins, this is downloaded the AWS plugin for our provider. Next, what we need to do is plan out what we want to set up. And the command for that is Terraform plan. And what this is going to do is go ahead and check what's already been set up. Now at the moment, it's got nothing to check with because we've not actually set anything up yet. So what it's gonna do is create something called the state file. And the state file is the way Terraform keeps track of what's been created and what hasn't. So now let's go ahead and run Terraform plan. Normally at this point, it would tell us if there were any errors. And what we see in the output here is what Terraform is going to do. So it's gonna set us up a VPC called MyVPC. Now we see a lot of this known after apply. These are computed resources, meaning that AWS will only return this once it's actually been set up. Now we need to provide a CIDR block because that can't be generated by AWS, but the rest of it can be. So in this case, we can see we're setting our CIDR block to 10.0.0.0 slash 16. So now we're happy we know what Terraform is going to create. Next, let's go ahead and actually set it up. If you want to learn Terraform in depth with hands-on challenges and even get certified, make sure to go to warp-9.com.